morning. We've just had our last sleep in these beds. We are moving on today. I said to Stephen last night, enjoy yourself in these beds because we're moving on and the room that we are moving into, we've been spoilt with this room in terms of the size and having a balcony and everything. The room that we're moving into is literally the size of the bed. We have one bed between us and the bathroom is tiny, everything is so, so tiny and we're there for like six days or so, six, yeah, six nights I think we're there for. So we've definitely been spoiled with this big room, going from this big room to what we're going to go to. It's going to be a bit of a shocker, but never mind. But I'm up quite early because I need to pack and everything, There's, the room's an absolute mess, I've got stuff everywhere, but I'm just going to go and hop in the shower, I'm a bit sweaty, I was going to go running this morning but I didn't go for a run but I've just done a quick workout so I am going to go hop in the shower and then I am going to start packing. <laughs> You've been nice. Oh, key card. We'll miss this big room, won't we? Yeah. Never mind. Goodbye. We're all loaded up with all our bags again. We're just gonna go and check out and then the plan is to get a taxi into town so we can get the train. Bye hotel. That was easy enough. We had to wait like two minutes and a taxi came. You alright? You got everything? We've arrived at the train station. It's there just behind us, but before we go and get our tickets, we've got a little bit of time to kill to be honest. Our train isn't until five and it is... Hang on, I don't know what time it is. Let me check. It's only one o'clock, so we've got like four hours to kill, but we do need to collect our tickets. But we're going to go to McDonald's. Stephen's been looking forward to this, haven't you? He wants another McDonald's and it's just there. And also, there's the cable car as well that we went on the other day, the big long one. Thank you. So you're getting a chicken nugget meal. Chicken nugget meal. You got it? Stephen's eating his McDonald's. I just had some chips again. We are off to the train station now. It is two o'clock. We've got three hours to wait. Thank you. Oh, we're having some more fun. Can't get into the train station unless you've got your ticket. And we have no idea where we collect our ticket from. And also, I'm a bit concerned because our train, our train number isn't up on the board. All the other trains are. Yikes. One problem solved, we found the ticket hall. Well, hopefully it works. <laughs> oh my goodness, we just had a stressful half an hour. I got to the front of the queue to collect our tickets and the screenshot that I'd taken of our order, I hadn't got the order number on the screenshot. I couldn't collect the tickets, bollocks. So the only way of getting it was to get, um, the only way of getting the order number was on my emails. But I have, obviously I haven't got any Wi-Fi, so I turned on my data rooming, which cost me five pound a day, by the way. But that didn't work. So we just went to McDonald's to see if we could get some insane McDonald's. That didn't work. So I'm like, bollocks, what am I going to do? I phoned my sister to see if she could uh, access my email from home. She wasn't answering her phone. I phoned my other sister. She managed to access my email. She managed to find the email. She's given me the order number. Hopefully, this will work and we'll be able to get our train. It still isn't up on the board though. So. God knows. I have a bad feeling about all of this. And this queue to collect the tickets is bloody long as well. Yay! We have our tickets! We have our tickets, finally. Although, it's still not up on the board, so I don't know, but 
at least we've got them. It's taken us about an hour and a half to get them. Good job we came here early. Right, should we go in the station? Is it okay? Yeah. I didn't, oh. Oh my goodness, I'm glad that little bit of stress is over. I started to pop a panic then. Hopefully it's all sorted now. I'm just nipping, I've just left Stephen there. I am just nipping to go and get him another McDonald's to take on the train. And then we can go through into the train station. If my sister is watching, thank you so much. You are a lifesaver. I don't know what I'd have done if you couldn't have got that information for me. Oh, I've got Stephen another McDonald's meal. That's two in one day, but... I don't care really. And I don't know about a McDonald's meal, but I could really, really do with a large, extremely large vodka and coke right now, followed up by a bottle of wine. Oh well, I'll we'll have to do without. Oh my god, stress. Here you go. Oh look, our train is up on the board. I can stop panicking now. We're in the waiting area in the train station now, just got to wait. I don't know why I thought that our train wouldn't be here. But you know when one thing goes wrong and you just start panicking about everything? I thought we were going to just be stranded here with no train, no hotel, no anything. But it's all good, it's all sorted. Whew. Might as well give myself a beer. Oh. This. Right here. So I don't know where. We're on. We have no idea which. There's no one in our little six bed thing at the moment, and we have no idea what our ticket said in terms of which is our bed. We just ask these nice people here, and we've got Stephen's got the top bunk up there, and then I've got the bottom bunk down there. So we're on like the same, same thing. That's quite good, really. It's nice having a bottom bunk because we'll be able to sit up. Like this, we've got some space as opposed to last time where we didn't have any space whatsoever. <laughs> He's monkeying already. Manage. <laughs> I just thought, we're not, I've just said that we're leaving China, we're not actually leaving China, we're getting off the train in China still and then from where we get off we've got like a two hour train journey into Hong Kong, I think. <sighs> I can't tell you how nice it is to have a bottom bunk and so we can actually sit up and I've got headspace. I remember last time and we had like the middle bunk and the top bunk and I was like this the whole time. So nice, all this space. And we're off. Goodbye, Zhang Jiajie. We've had fun. Pissed off, I've just been sat here doing some editing here and Stephen wanted to watch a film so I was just like loading one up and then I just got a pop up saying Premier Pro has had a fatal error it'll close down and I was almost finished with the edit of yesterday and as you can see now it's gone right back to the beginning I have no nothing it's, I have no edit, I've just got all my files there so so I'm going to have a see if I can recover it, but I don't think I can. I think I'm going to have to start all over again. That's quite annoying. It's about an hour and a half, two hours work. Gone. Straight away. Stupid thing. And the plus side. These are quite nice. watching it's 
25th of May now, we've just been watching a couple of films on my map. I like think we probably might go to bed soon, to be honest, because the train gets in at um, 6 o'clock in the morning, so we have to be up early. The lights have just gone off. I think they think we should all be going to sleep. It's like quarter to ten. We probably should go to sleep, to be honest, Stephen, because we've got to be up early. Stephen's going up to bed. Good night. Good night. <laughs> I'm gonna end it here then, because I'm gonna try and get to sleep as well. I think we've got to be about half past five. Yikes! Don't know how I managed that. But thanks for watching today, guys. I will see you tomorrow when we'll be in Hong Kong. Good night.